and welcome to another edition of Headphones Hi-Fi Reviews. Today we are going to look at the Nova Fidelity HA500H headphone amplifier and digital to analog converter. Like so. The HA stands for headphone amplifier. Nova Fidelity are not so well known in the United Kingdom. I have had the chance to uh, review their X35 streamer which I was extremely impressed with. As you can see the Nova X35 amongst lots of other things that it can do has a headphone out. So it is a headphone amp as well as a speaker amp and lots of other things. What the HA500H does is take that headphone amp and puts it into another level. An idea as to what we're talking about, the X35 is uh, one of their mid-price streamers that's approximately £1,600 and this headphone DAC amp is £2,000 199. This is only the briefest introductions to the headphone amplifier but I will do a sound clip. Just have a couple of minutes of listening to what this sounds like and in comparison I'll do a sound clip of the X35 and you can see whether you can tell much if any difference between the two. What we'll now very quickly do is we'll switch it on, switch some other stuff on and see how easy it is to operate. The supplied mini remote control and the front panel controls and just to complicate matters this is going through four different boxes now. We're going to start with the X35 that will then go into the Nova Fidelity HA500H that will then go out to the Arcam SR250 and then it will finally go over to the first Watt F6 power amplifier. But the HA500 will be switched on at all times and will be producing the sound. Switching on now. So there's the initial display of the HA500H and it's showing what I had initially running on it previous to this. So that was the last state it was used in. I'll switch on the television. Now I'm going to switch on my AV amp to get the PC display up and running. I'll switch the Nova Fidelity streamer on. And I'll get the Arcam switched on. Great, and we should be ready to roll very shortly. I'll just get the key TV up and running. So that's passed through, that can now be switched off. So there we go. We've just um, currently got this on a tube. Now we're solid state. Yes, the HA500 has solid state and tube circuitry built in inside one box.
so no need for two amps anymore uh, no need for a separate amp and no need for two amps anymore even if you've got two headphones one which likes tubes and one which likes solid state you can do both under one roof with the HA500H even track to track if some tracks are not appealing to you a solid state then you can warm them up with a tube sound or vice versa you can make them sound a little faster paced and more dynamic perhaps with a solid state setting change the input and we're going to go to Toslink and Toslink has been connected from the X35 into the HA500 so we'll load up a track and here it goes that's tube off and tube on back it comes so again we'll now change our input to analog unbalanced like so So now, so now we've just got the sound from the DAC of this being processed by the preamplifier of this, rather than going through the DAC of this. And that's through the DAC of the HA500H. We'll now chuck a few headphones into the mix. I've plugged in a balanced Hi-Fi Man HE6. And that will involve a few setting changes to get this working rather than it going through the speakers this is now going to use the headphone out so we don't need to change the input we will keep the input the same but we will change the line out and with one press of the button we will go to the headphones and it defaults to headphone unbalanced but you can see to the right of it is a balanced unbalanced toggle switch so we will now switch to headphone balanced we will also make sure that the headphone volume is acceptable i play this again And I think you can just about hear that that's got that working. For those of you with power hungry headphones such as the HE6 which is notoriously difficult to drive what one is looking for here is a few changes to get the best out of it through the HE500H it will perform quite well with the HA500H, particularly on the tube setting, as these have a tendency to be 
quite forward sounding in the mids and treble region. They're described by some people as being hot sounding. They're actually a pretty fantastic pair of headphones. We're now going to switch the impedance to low and we're going to take the tubes off. We'll unplug the HE6 of the beautiful looking Audio Technica ATH-W1000 Z Maestro closed back headphone, which is a traditional 6.35 setting headphone. And remember, it's still set to that 74 and it, does, it won't need anything like that much. So now we've got tube off, low impedance and around about the 30 mark on the volume. These are pretty much the best closed headphones I've ever heard. Yes, 55 on low impedance is all this one needs. Put that back very carefully there. There are a few other settings on the remote control or by pressing the setup button on here and using this as a scroll and enter. Just as an experiment, I'm going to change the output to line out, analog unbalanced, and we'll keep that headphone in. And so you can keep your headphone in, and this is outputting through the speakers. You can have everything plugged in and ready to go. And whatever you select on the panel is what we'll output. I'm now gonna sit down and listen to a couple of minutes of music and you will hear the recording of what I've been listening to. While we use this as our own credits, I will say goodbye. Thank you for spending the time with me. And I hope you've enjoyed our little listening session with the Nova Fidelity HA500H. Lots of H's and lots of headphones. I don't want